With operations in 44 countries, a workforce of over 123,000 and global revenues in excess of $30.4 billion, welcome to the world of Alcoa, the world's leading producer of aluminium. Alcoa were pioneers and remain the driving force behind high volume, low cost smelting that has enabled aluminium to be the major metal that it is today. We see, use and experience aluminium in every walk of life, day in, day out. It's light in weight, resistant to corrosion, strong, malleable and naturally good looking. Aluminium is the most recyclable product in the world. The majority of cast aluminium comes from scrap material and approximately 30 to 40% new prime metal. But how is it all made? Well, it all starts with bauxite ore. This is a rock rich in aluminium oxide that's been formed over millions of years. But this ore needs refining. To do this, we grind the ore and mix it with caustic soda, then heat it. What's left is a sugar-like substance called alumina. The next stage in a process is known as smelting. The alumina is dissolved in molten cryolite and then reduced to a pure metal by passing an electrical current through the mixture at a temperature between 950 and 980 degrees centigrade. In this molten state, the alumina is poured off and cast into ingots. How are these ingots shaped, formed and refined into usable aluminium that meets the needs of our customers? Alcoa has an aluminium processing facility on a 33-acre site with 1 million square feet under roof located at Kitts Green, Birmingham in the West Midlands. This is where the processing of aluminium ingot into quality aluminium plate for our customers located all around the world takes place. Demanding customers who insist upon the best aluminium for the most challenging of applications. Put simply, we cast aluminium ingots which are rolled, heat treated, aged and extensively tested to ensure that our customers receive quality products. Let's take a closer look. There's no such thing as a typical customer. Different customers need aluminium with specific properties designed for specific uses. Our aluminium slabs are created using a process known as melting and casting. We melt recyclable scrap aluminium with 99% pure aluminium ingot and also add other metals such as copper and zinc, which creates a molten alloy at temperatures reaching around 725 degrees centigrade. This molten mixture is then vertically cast into ingots, which we refer to as slabs. These slabs are homogenised in large batch furnaces. This is a heat treatment process that ensures the various metal elements are uniformly distributed within the aluminium slab. We then remove the ends of the slab with a large band saw and use a milling machine to remove approximately 20 millimetres off the top and bottom of the slab, a process known as scalping. The slab has to be heated to over 400 degrees centigrade in preparation for rolling the aluminium slab on our hot mill as we begin to create the exact thickness and size of plate for our customer. This mill is capable of exerting up to 4,000 tonnes of force to reduce the slab to a rolled plate of the desired thickness. Once hot rolled, the plate is sheared at the end of the hot line in order to cut the plate to a required manufacturing length. Before the plate begins heat treatment, the edges are trimmed using large circular cutting blades, a process called cropping. 
In order to achieve the required metal properties, the aluminium plate begins the first stage of heat treatment by passing through a horizontal solution treatment furnace. The plate is then heated to over 450 degrees centigrade and held at this temperature until it's ready to be quenched by thousands of jets which rapidly cool down the plate. Although the solution treatment process achieves the desired internal properties, the quenching process leaves the plate with internal stresses which can cause flatness and distortion. To remove these internal stresses, giant stretching machines capable of exerting up to 6,000 tonnes of force grip the plate at both ends and stretch the plate by over 2%. To complete the heat treatment process, the plate undergoes a further controlled heat cycle in ageing furnaces. The plate will then be subject to a conductivity scan if required, which tests the plate for uniformity of the heat treatment. At the same time, the conductivity machine prints custom identification on the plates. The plate then undergoes ultrasonic inspection, where it is fully submersed in water tanks and scanned by ultrasonic sound waves that will identify even the smallest of defects. ultrasonic inspection, the plate is finally sawn to the precise dimensions required by the customer. Samples from the plates are then taken to our testing facility and undergo a series of vigorous tests to ensure conformance to international and customer standards. Once the tests have been completed, the plate is released for shipment. During packing, the plates are marked with a quality approval stamp. The plates are then transferred to our warehouse, ready to ship all over the world.